Hello. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of navigations and orbiting around objects. I'm going to open a uh, scene that I already prepared for this tutorial. It just takes a few seconds and your scene is going to show up. So by default, whenever you select an object, you have a pivot points, which you always orbit around it. And if you have multiple selections, your orbit is going to be around the uh, center of your selection. Whenever you're in the sub-object mode, which we can call modeling mode, if you select face, edge, or vertex, and select one of the vertices of the object by pressing F or going to this menu and clicking on frame selection, we can zoom in and then you always orbit around sub-objects that you currently selected. So you can zoom out and still you orbit around this. Some people prefer the other style, which means no matter what is your current sub-selection, you always want to orbit around the center of the objects. In this case, you have to select the object so you can deselect anything from the scene. When you deselect anything, you're going to see the options and plots which are for the scene, like environment, timeline, and viewport and players. So the viewport has some um, default options like orbiting around sub-object by default, so you can change it back to selection. So when you select object, select a vertex, press F key. Now if you orbit, you see you're not orbiting around this vertex. So if you go back, you always orbit around center of your model, which is the pivot point of your model. The other tools that you can use, whenever you have uh, several objects in your scene, let me add one more. I'm going to zoom in. If you click here, you have frame all, which means you're going to view all the objects um, which are covered in the viewport. and if you select one object and go here and select frame selection, you're going to zoom in. That object will be displayed in the viewport. You can find other tools that are useful for selections. Click on sub object. You have access to select all, select none, and invert. So you can select one object, go to this selection, and click select inverse. So other objects are selected except the current one. You can select none, nothing is selected. You also have access to select all, which is going to select all the objects in the scene. You have also the shortcuts like control A. You also have access to these tools from view menu and edit menu. Select all, select none, and select invert, which you can also see their shortcuts. You also have access to select by category. So if you have a couple of other nodes, for example, you have a node which is called light, another node which is called camera. You can go to the edit mode, select by category, and only select lights. The same tools are also available for sub-object mode. For example, if you select a face, you can select a few faces and click here select invert so in sub object mode you inverted your current selections select none select all and you can also do that for other modes like vertex and edge so you can call this and invert everything thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe or like this video have a good day